private 5G obviously has not taken off as expected. And I feel that there are three key things that are missing from the equation. And if these three things were to be fulfilled, I think private 5G would take off in a big way. The first is manageability. Private 5G wireless networks have to be as easy to manage as Wi-Fi networks. Anything more complex, and I don't see enterprises adopting the technology. There just isn't appetite for you know, tinkering with pieces of technology and configuring and provisioning things manually. So it literally has to be as easy as Wi-Fi is today. And of course, a lot of that is software, but there's also some elements like RF planning and who knows, with machine learning, maybe that piece could also be simplified dramatically. So I think that's the first piece, manageability. The second piece I see is cost. If private 5G wireless networks are at a significant premium over Wi-Fi, again, that begs the question, why use these networks if they're so much more expensive? So I think the second piece is the cost has to come down dramatically. I don't think it has to match Wi-Fi per se, but it has to be in that ballpark, in that range. Um, so we are talking about, you know, maybe 50 cents per square foot or less, and maybe 10, 20 cents per square foot to manage it year over year. So I think if we start hitting those numbers, we will see widespread adoption of uh, private 5G. The third thing I feel is private 5G needs a purpose in life. And by that, what I mean is it can't just be solving the data network connectivity problem. That problem has been solved through Wi-Fi. So if you're just using private 5G to connect end devices to either internal corporate networks or to the internet, that's not, that's not good enough. We really need private 5G to be viewed as a network that connects edge computing applications to end devices. And I think when that happens, that's the true value of private 5G. That's when the growth will really take off. But that means that we have to really wait for applications, meaningful applications to come up. And it's a little bit of a chicken and egg. Why would someone write an application, edge computing application for 5G if the network isn't taking off? And why would networks take off if the application doesn't exist? But we've seen it many times over the years, these chicken and egg problems eventually do get resolved. And I'm confident it will get resolved, but um, those, that's the third thing I see missing from the equation. So I think we help with all three of these. We are an orchestration and management solution for private 5G. We also support other use cases like ORAN and edge computing, but private 5G is a key use case for us. So by orchestration, we can bring zero touch management. By disaggregation, we can support lower cost devices, which can drive the prices down. And third, by providing not just network service orchestration, but also edge computing application orchestration, we can support the third element, which is uh, finding uh, an edge computing application purpose for private 5G networks. So Arna Networks, uh, we are a software and SaaS company. We are in the edge um, orchestration and management space, and by edge, we mean edge infrastructure, which could be compute, storage, networking, virtualization, hypervisors. Network services, which could include RAN, core, uh, firewalls, load balancers, routers, etc. And edge computing applications, which could include machine learning, computer vision, Gen AI, and other applications. The best way to work with us is to try our software. It's open source. It's a free trial. So give it a shot. And if you like it, um, we can talk more.